I am the real estate broker that never leaves him alone in a really nice professional way. And now this will be you know, the biggest deal that we do in the year and what is in New York City a really, 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 really tough market. It's the two Ps and I come back to it time and time and time again. It's patience and persistence. That's it. When I really look back at everything that I've done over the last 10 years, right? It's patience and persistence, patience and persistence. It's moving forward, holding, moving forward, holding, moving forward, holding, and just being consistent about everything that I'm doing across the board, like patience has been the number one reason I've been able to retain the clients that I've had. And what's so fucked up is I'm the most impatient person that I know. I'm a real estate broker, I'm a salesperson. I want things to happen like rapid fire, nonstop, 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 nonstop. I want deals to happen today. I want them to happen tomorrow. I want my goals to be blown out of the water. And I have no patience for any of that. And that's okay because that's what's in my brain. That's what keeps me moving. That's the hamster in the wheel. But then on the outside, I'm patient. I'm patient with everybody. I'm patient with him. I'm patient with her. I let him speak. I let her speak. I let them yell. I let them cry. And I let it all happen. And I soak it all in. And then I respond. And that's what I talk about all the time too, right? The power of responding instead of just replying. So many people listen just to hear themselves talk so that they can reply with what they want to say, with what they think that should be heard. For me, it's about listening. Um, but I started in rentals thinking that I was just going to do rentals and that was going to be it. That's how I was going to kind of make my business work and then fell into sales because I had rental clients who then referred me to other clients. And then it's almost 11 years later. And I think um, if there's one thing that I could say as to like where my career has gone and then how I've done it is that I just showed up consistently every single day. Like people ask me, all the time, like, was it the TV show? Was it this, was it that? Was it your parents? It was not my parents, that's for sure. Um, uh, was it, you know, your boss? Absolutely, not my boss. If you've met my boss or know where I work, you'd understand. Um, was it this, was it that? And I think that the fact that I had my back up against the wall when I first started, and I just showed up every single day for three years. Listening, being patient with the person in front of you, and then responding whether it's a client on a $40 million deal that I just did two days ago in the Hamptons, whether it's my wife who is upset about something, whether it's the baby and my brand new baby is crying and upset. I have patience with her. I'm not yelling at her, I'm not shaking the baby. Like you have patience with everybody. Yeah. Like what's so cool about that system and why I wanted it in my office so bad is you can just go there. Like you don't have to go to Zillow or Shredezy or realtor.com and then go to Chase right. or talk to your banker. Like you just start at the bank and then you can have all of your data there and then you're shopping based on what you can afford, which is the big issue with yeah. all the other websites. And so the slogan should be the everything bank. Oh, everything like bank. It. And now, just so you know, I it's like documented it. so that in a year, yes, in a year, I don't want, I'm not at home watching a commercial. No, I don't want to watch a commercial and it's like the two property brothers talking to Kevin Hart and they're like, oh hey, a dog runs in and then it's like, this is the everything bank. And I pull out my phone and write a real strongly worded email to Amy and LB and Sean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The everything bank. Hi, baby. Hi, Zena. Do you know who it is? It's that guy from the weekends. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hi. Daddy lives in mommy's phone. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, baby Z. Hi, vlog. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. Okay, we're headed to the next one now, to the Hilton, and then after that, we get on the plane and come back. I mean, look at how I got the baby. Look at IVF, for those of you who don't know. I took three years to try to have a baby. We tried everything and it just wasn't happening for Amelia and I. And we were upset and we were so impatient. And then the impatience made things worse because then it spikes hormones and then you can't get pregnant. And then it becomes worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And all it really is, is frustration and impatience in your brain that's literally not letting you have a baby. And then the minute you realize that, it then gets even worse and worse and worse because then you realize you have no control. You have no control over something that so many people do by accident. 
and we tried everything. And then finally, once we went through our rounds of IVF, it worked. And that's how we got Xena. And yes, it took a lot of patience to get there, but man, we were so impatient during the process. What would you say is the best advice you've received? There's a jazz musician who said it on his deathbed, where he said, if you take care of the music, the music will take care of you. Because the, the road that we're in, whether you're doing loans or selling real estate or any kind of career, it's always up and it's always down. Right? It's a roller coaster. Like you're going to have good months and you're going to have bad months. And as long as you show up and as long as you do the work, the work will take care of you, like by default. It's only when you start to feel negative and you don't do the show up. It's only when you start to feel like, oh, this was a bad month, and you start pulling back and pulling back and not putting the work in when the work won't take care of you because you're not giving the work what it needs. Um, and it's like, I think that's why I work so hard. Keep going forward, take care of the work and the work will take care of me. Like we will figure it out, we will do more deals. It's not the end of the world. I can't be depressed about it. I can't be down about it, which a lot of people would wanna be, right? The market isn't shit. The market is just trying to figure itself out. Let's try to diversify, let's try to do other things and let's consistently write down what we have to look forward to because that's gonna keep us going and keep us going and keep us going. So if I look back at, at what has made me successful, both in work and in life, personally, from my baby, to my wife, to family, to all my clients, to my team, it's been incredible patience. While inside, staying impatient like a motherfucker and fighting as hard as I can, but showing the outside world, I'm the most patient guy you're ever going to meet. But I'm gonna stay persistent with you. And I'm gonna stay on top of you. And I'm going to come after you. And I'm gonna follow up with you. Remember my clients, have you read my book? If you've read the book, I talk about Sebastian, I talk about Mr. X. This deal that I just did for 40 million in the Hamptons, okay, there's a vlog that's gonna be coming up about that. That deal took me nine years. Nine years from when I met that client. Nine years. I dare any of you to tell me that you've completed something and you've been successful with something that took you nine years to do. One thing, one thing. I'm not saying, oh, I was in school for nine years. No, one client who I stayed on top of for nine years every other week because I had patience and because I was persistent with the work. And eventually, it happens just like that. The two Ps, patience, persistence. That is the definition of my game. Vlog's over, that's it, sorry. But you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. Actually, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.